All the talk lately has been about taking out your five-star gems, replacing them with one-star gems so you can then awaken your gear. This is something I have never done inside of the game. I've never experienced the awakening process because I've always been going with five-star gems in every slot. Yet after some of my recent interviews that we had in the channel with talking to people that have low resonance, high power, and can compete in PvP against big spenders, it leads me to believe that there are a handful of gems that I'm using right now that I should probably be swapping out for a one-star gem. So let's actually come on over here. We're going to be doing this with one gem today, just one gem to start. Now, there are two gems I will probably never leave behind. One of them is Seeping Bile. One of them is the Blood Soaked Jade. These are two of the best gems inside of the game. And even though I can't level them up beyond four or five, for a long time at least, they're worth keeping. Now, Howler's Call, I could probably get rid of that. Phoenix Ashes, again, I could probably get rid of this one. I do like Echoing Shade and Bottled Hope. It's an okay gem for me. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to replace the Bottled Hope today. Let's replace this gem, and I'm going to go straight up if, with the Berserker's Eye. This is actually already upgraded to a rank 4. Actually, you know what I want to do? This is what I want to do. I want you guys to see Resonance. So let's come over here. Let's look at my total resonance to start. Actually, that's the wrong screen. We're going to do that over here. My resonance is 1,380. We had 200, uh, no, I'm sorry, 140 resonance from the Bottled Hope. 140. So let me actually write this down so I don't forget as we do this video. So we're at 1,380, and that one is at 140. Now the note is taken. Now let's go do some work and see what we can actually do with this so we're going to replace the bottled hope with the berserker's eye level four and we can upgrade it can't we we can get some sleds weakening torment boom this can go in there i'm just making sure i'm not getting rid of any gems that i may need and honestly a lot of gems are are ones that i wouldn't want to get rid of just yet let's take a peek right now just as it is so i'm down 80 resonance right because i went from 140 down to 60 with the Berserker's Eye. But let's see if I can craft some gems and get a little bit more of an upgrade going. So we're gonna go with, um, let's just make a whole bunch of Berserker's Eye's gems. Here we go. We're gonna craft as many of these as we can. I could probably craft two star gems as well, but we'll just, we'll just craft a bunch of these since whatever, it doesn't matter. And the, the concern that I have is, with my residence dipping, will I be able to still compete where I'm competing now? And in addition to that, if I'm doing PvE, how will this look if my residence dips down? It could be bad. And that's why, right now, I'm not getting rid of the Bottled Hope gem. I'm just putting it in my back pocket to hold on to it. Now, let's see if I have enough to, um, to rank up this gem. I don't want to get rid of my Fervent Fang because Fervent Fang is a gem that you only get in certain ways from the game. You can't craft them. You can only get them from um, your Season Pass and from Bounty, the, uh, what's it called? I forget. All right, we're going to get all these up right here. Upgrade. So let's see what this brings my power up to. We were at 60 resonance. This brought me up to 75, gaining a little bit more. Now I'm gonna need one Berserker's Eye, and then I'm gonna have to go and get in a bunch of these other ones. Now, could I use the Bottled Hope? I could, but do I want to chance utilizing a gem that I may want to place back in here? I don't think I want to chance that. So right now we're sitting with a level five, a rank five. Berserker's Eye, which means we're halfway there, but not really because the, the challenge to upgrade this stuff as you go gets bigger and bigger. You need more and more gems to get that upgrade in. So let's, um, what can we do right now that we could kind of test things out? Oh, I got an idea. We're going to go to Storm Point because in PvE, which is where my concern is, this is where I'm really playing the game the most. In PvE, reduced resonance, it can feel bad. Now, I did just jump up to, I believe I'm in Hell 7 right now and monster difficulty is high. So, oh, is this an orange right here? Nope, this is the one that is not really the orange, it's the hidden one that's still here all the time. 
All right, let's see how I do. This is the first kill of the day, by the way. I'm just trying to see if I feel any difference here. Any difference in the gem. And you know, remember, when you awaken gear... Thunderstone, Monstrous Essence, we'll take that. When you awaken gear, you get buffs as well. And then you can put gems within your gems as well, which is really nice. We're going to transport ourselves over where we're supposed to be going. All right, good, good challenge right now. Let me get all my stuff up here. All right, now here we go. Boom. And the Dark Curse over top. By the way, I'm loving the Necro, but I've been getting the urge to play the Barbarian again. Whoa, Phoenix Ash is just... Uh, we're going to revive a corpse and see what went on there. I kind of just stood in the uh, in the mess right there. I didn't do too much to get away from it, which was not optimal, as we saw. Let's see what we can do. Skeletons, mage, dark curse. They're gonna go ham. Drop a lot more uh, higher, faster attack speed. Didn't work out so well though. We got them all taken down. There we go, molten golem. We're gonna go with the dark curse there. Now we took them down. All right. I'm not sure if it was me not paying attention or if it was me having less power. The thing is, Phoenix Ashes did save me. That's a gem that we were thinking of removing and replacing with the Berserker's Eye. But there was just an example right there where if I were paying a little bit more attention, it could have actually spared my life. Now in PvE, that matters less. But PvP, which I'm not in love with any of the PvP modes now, by the way, it does, uh, it does help. All right, looks like we did a good job right there. We cleaned out all of that. Let's go to the next one. It's very hard to tell, um, to, to feel the difference, which makes me believe that maybe it's not worth utilizing the five stars if you're not going to feel the difference anyways. This also gives me a little bit more flexibility being able to switch from class to class because if I have multiple one-star gems that are max leveled and have resonance, then I can swap them out, where Legendary Gems, that's not even a thing. There's no way I'm having max level Legendary Gems in the first place, let alone having extras in my bag to switch if I happen to class change. So it gives you a little bit more versatility, and it lets you, it makes you feel like you're less stuck with a class. And I have more, you know, more ability to change. We got a purple over here. This is another good challenge. Let's see how we can do. Dark Curse over everything. Remember, Dark Curse, I have it set. So I had it modified so that it will actually make the attack damage of anything within the Dark Curse, I think, 40% more. Now, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on all around me, so I'm trying to keep my distance. Stay back. I have another Golem. Get some health there. Uh-oh, no, my Golem's actually down. I'm going to wait for him to come back, because I like when my Golem, which I've spent a lot of in my skill modifications... I want him to get the Dark Curse on him as well. Now look at this. Oh. All right, everything's going down. They're back in there. They're in the curse. We're going to get the golem to jump on top again. Get some health. Keep ourselves alive. Now again, this is... What are we in? We are in Hell... Oh, Hell 8. I'm sorry, not Hell 7. Hell 8. So it's still a little bit difficult for me. Now if we take a look at my combat rating... My combat rating is 11,217. You know what I'm curious about? Where's my gem? Can I swap the gem out over here? I don't I don't think I can. Let's go back to Westmarch. I, oh, maybe I can. I don't recall. I never do gem work outside of the jewelry shop. I just like being in the shop when I do it. All right, so we're going to swap it back, and we're going to see if our combat rating changed from utilizing that gem. I think that it's going to. So we're going to come right over here, navigate over, and we're going to do that last test. We know that our um, that our resonance dropped, which would lead me to believe that my combat rating also has dropped, which is going to be bad. Oh, what the heck? A disconnect right towards the end. That's all right. Real life, you get to see it. Let's get back in here. So if my combat rating dropped, the question is, is it worth utilizing the one-star gem where I could get this, this bottled hope up a few levels, right? I could upgrade it because it is only a level two. It is, it is by far my lowest level gem right now. So let's see. Combat rating. 
Well, actually, I want to check out my combat rating first, which sits at 11,217. Let's switch out the gem. Okay. Now, let's check out my combat rating. 11,229. What was it? 11,117 or 217? 11,229. Let's switch it back. 11,229. Look at all that. All that red. Eleven two one seven. So I only dropped two two nine. I only dropped twelve combat rating. Now I could easily get Berserker's Eye up multiple levels. I could use Battled Hope right now and get it up so my combat rating is higher, which is very interesting. But what do you lose from not utilizing the Bottled Hope? Well, let's take a look at the gem. When you use a skill to grant a buff, increase the damage of movement speed of the target. 10.5% for 6 seconds. And then I would also decrease the use of my skills. So, honestly, Bottled Hope is not the gem that gets me the most excited out of all of my gems. I think that this is the route to go. And um, you know what? I'm going to go all in with it right now. We're going to... I'm going to... Because it's not a gem that I can sell. Bottled Hope is not a gem that I can sell. Let's actually unlock it. And we are going to use it as food. We're, we're going all in with this. You could call me an idiot if you want to, but we're going to try it anyways. We're going to have to put another Berserker's Eye in, and we're going to go with 20 of these. We're going to go with the Bottled Hope. Boom. Oh, wow. Never thought I would be sacrificing a 5-star for a 1-star, but that's what we did right here. We're going to go with another Berserker's Eye. Do we have enough of these? We do. We're going to get this up again. Upgrade again, and I could probably get one more upgrade in. I'm a little short on Berserker's Eyes, which is... There's our last one, but we're probably going to be short. This is going to be it. We're going to upgrade right now again, and we're going to have a level eight. Look at how quickly we are two levels away from the max level. All I need are two more Berserker's Eye Gems and 40 here. Let's say I don't even know the top one because I've never gotten there. Let's say 50, so 90 more gems, which could easily be a 10 Legendary Crest gem run. I could get enough power for that. Now, let's take a look at how things have changed. Let's take a look at my combat rating. It was 1,360 when I started. Now it's 1,000. Oh no, I'm sorry. It was 1,380. Now it's 1,360. And my resonance was 140. Now it's down to 120 for the Berserker's Eye specifically. So I can get it right back to where it was. And if we look at the combat rating again, let's see if that has changed. 1,000, uh, 11,229. So we are right where we were as far as that goes. So I think that we're good here. Plus when I get to awaken this gear, then that's when the power becomes unleashed. And I really believe that in my build, I should have at least one awakened slot, probably more than that. But for now, we're gonna be working on this first awakened slot. I think this is the path for more success for low spenders, which would be myself. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely a casual one, but I'm taking you on my journey and my thought process as I replace and change out my gems inside of Diablo Immortal. I'll see you guys because I know you just subscribed in tomorrow's video.